Okay, my name is Doc Shell. Thank you for coming to Dr. Test Prep. We are doing Unit 5, Lesson 3, Right Triangle Trig. Um, this is a little bit challenging sometimes, um, but we can do this together. Let's look here. The two legs of a right triangle are 6 and 10. What is the length of the hypotenuse and radical form? Now, I intentionally use what would appear to be a Pythagorean triple, um, but that would only be a Pythagorean triple if the hypotenuse was a 10. So basically speaking, we don't know the hypotenuse and the sides are 6 and 10. So you will use the formula on the formula sheet, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now, because it wants simplest radical form, we do have to do more work. We can't just throw this right into decimals. So I've got c squared equals 6 squared plus 10 squared. This last part you can put into decimals and you would get c squared equals 136. Now, we have to take the square root of both sides. And unfortunately, I have not figured out how decimals can reduce um, radicals for us. So what I recommend doing is we have 136 and start thinking about like perfect squares. So we know that like two squared is four. So I would say, well, can I do 136 divided by four? I can. And in this case, it's wonderful because I get 34 and 34 is divisible by two, but there's no perfect square that can go into it. So that's actually my answer right there. I'm going to take my square root of 136 and I'm going to break it into the square root of 4 times the square root of 34. The square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 34 cannot be simplified anymore. So that is my answer. Um, in a right triangle, uh, in a right triangle, if the tangent of an angle is 0 0.75, what is the cosine of that angle? Okay, so this is definitely a harder one. I would probably call this more a unit 9 question than a unit 3 question. So tangent first, we have to kind of work backwards. So we want to convert that 0 0.75 into a fraction. Most of you are like, Doc, it's 3 fourths. It is. I'm going to click the fraction button and get 3 fourths. Okay, now because it's tangent, tan is opposite over adjacent. So if I'm just going to pick my angle, we'll call this angle A. My opposite side is 3 and my adjacent side is 4. But because we want to do cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have to determine what is this value. Now, most likely, you know the 3, 4, 5 triangle if you're in high school, but if you're in middle school, you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So that's going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. That's also on the formula sheet. If you type this into Desmos, you'll get 25 equals C squared. Take the square root of both sides. And because you can't have a negative side value, this side is 5. So now... We know that if we are doing cosine, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and this is my hypotenuse. So the cosine is 4 adjacent over 5 hypotenuse. That's it. All right, given a right triangle, if the hypotenuse is 20, Um, and the adjacent side measure is 16, so here's my angle. What is the value of the tangent of this angle? So again, we're going to have to work backwards. So we've got um, the formula they give you is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we have 400. You might notice that this is a Pythagorean triple, but I'm going to just keep working. a squared plus 16 squared. Um, I did 20 times 20 in my head. That was where the 400 came from. So now I'm going to do 400 minus 16 squared gives us 144 equals a squared. And then the square root of 144 is 12. So now that I have that side, I know that my tangent 
is opposite over adjacent. So I have 12 over 16. But we really want to keep things in reduced form. So I'm going to do 12 over 16 and hit my fraction bar to get my answer of 3 over fourths. So truthfully, there's a lot of things on the test that you'll be able to use the Desmos calculator for very easily. Trig is not necessarily one of them. Okay. Now there are trig functions in here built in. Um, right here, you can see these trig functions, but these are used more for the word problems that we'll look at at unit nine. They wouldn't really be used for what we're doing right now. Okay, so this was the end of unit five, lesson three. Please go back to Khan Academy and do the unit five, lesson three practice questions so Khan knows what you know and knows what you need help with. Um, then when you come back, we're going to move on to circle theorems. All right, thank you.